The PP rework. They didn't believe. They didn't believe me when I said it. They thought I was faking it. They didn't listen to Jesus because he was telling the truth, but <laughs> let me tell you, the PP rework is here. And my god, I'm excited. I am excited. Let's see what Osu, the official Osu channel, has to say about this matter. I think the system will be implemented very soon, and I think it's already live on Laser. And which, by the way, Laser also has better note lock. I've seen some players farming PP on Laser already, so... <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Is it time to invest in Laser? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Let's check what's going on. Performance points are in a weird state right now. In case mm. you didn't know, the PP algorithm is managed directly in Laser's code, affecting game elements like the PP. Let's go, PC fat. You see PP like the leaderboards or your profile are processed by OSU servers. Usually, this distinction doesn't matter. Both Laser and the servers are supposed to use the same algorithm, but right now, wow, we're we are getting a nerdy PP lesson. To the PP system, were just applied to Laser in this update, and they'll be applied to the servers in the coming weeks. So. We're going to talk about what's new with performance. Yes. Points. Okay, upcoming weeks. You probably No more combo. Something like this before. Ah, yes. What a great miss. In the previous PP system, that score would be worthless compared to say this. Ah, yes. Both of these scores were just single misses, but the one missing at the end was previously valued much 105 more because... versus 160 PP. So for FC, I, I suppose this will be like 170 or something. That's how combo scaling works. People didn't like that. So they <laughs> finally got rid yes, of it. for the last 10 years. I remember discussions about this all the way back in 2016. Under the new PP system, a probably miss even earlier. A map and a miss at the end of a map are worth the same amount of PP. The main thing which I'm still working through is 4K quality Peppy <laughs> on that green screen. Very nice. That with the removal of the combo portion of he's PP, looking more bold than before. Score, and you guys say I'm like bold? Value, Have you ever seen Peppy? The lower total score from Come on now. Base. We've already fixed this issue in Laser with the new infrastructure, but scores submitted via stable don't fully use the new infrastructure yet. Which is to say, that also that cursor is insane. Needs to be changed as we do this new deploy. Otherwise, people are going to notice it happening a lot more because now that PP doesn't have combo considerations in it, the relationship between total score and PP is a lot less proportionate than it used to be. So there's a lot more chance of scores getting wiped. <laughs> oh, no. Have I explained it's that? It's over. One? You might have noticed that top. Oh! Person. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, speed players. Speed players, it's been a good run, my friends. It's now time to go back. <laughs> time to hop on that aim again. Oh, my God, dude. It's like society is changing in front of our eyes. For the better, perhaps. Minus 300 for me. It's over. Speed players. It's been a good run, my friends, but... That's crazy, though. Minus 300. I actually gain PP from this rework, believe it or not. This is why you gotta invest in AIM in 2024. Well, more like 2025. We're almost done, but... Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. Might have noticed that top players have been in the speed meta for a while now, but not for reasons solely related to the speed portion of PP. Rather, there were oversights in how rhythm and aim played into speed. To think for the rhythm, other day I was thinking about learning speed? Like how silly of me. Hop on aim, hop on aim. Long bursts. Ah yes, so Soturks. Properly complex rhythm wasn't giving enough PP. Yeah, this is like 200 PP at best. Adjusted. These now give less PP. These give more. And that, that's aim, a pretty easy explanation. Only affects the top most of top players. Highly spaced streams above like 250 BPM were giving too much PP for the flow type of aim, which has now been reduced. Okay, um, Slight nerf for, for sidetrack so day. Let's say I SS just any map on stable, then I SS the same map on laser. Laser has slider head accuracy, so it should be like harder to get an SS. Does that mean the laser score will be worth more PP than the stable score? I would hope so. So that is the intention. Okay. Uh, no, that, that laser gives more PP <laughs> for the same score. Now I don't know if you guys know this, but 
you can play on laser, right? And you will actually get PP on your normal profile. I know it sounds like a crazy thing, but it really does work. If right now you hop on laser and you get a top play on laser, you gain rank even in your normal OSU profile and you will see it on your graph, like it will just new slide up. So, for example, okay, well, this doesn't apply to me. There is a bit of a spike because I did get some PP. <laughs> no flexing, of course, but for example, Lifeline, I'm opening his profile right now. If we scroll down, we can see that his top five is, if you can't hang, everybody do the flop, yada, yada, yada. You can see that he has 10, 1200 PP plays at the moment, okay? This is if you go on his profile right now. However, if you enable laser mode, you will see that something else just spawned. 27 hours ago, he got a 1262 PP play on Legend of Millennium with double time. And this play, this play right here, actually counted. This play allowed him to reach 24,000 PP. And it's not like this 24,000 PP is only visible if you use laser or anything like that. Even if you disable laser mode, Lifeline generally has 24,000 PP, like it's over. It's there. You know what I mean? So yes, you can go on Osu laser right now, you can hop on laser, you can play and you will have the combo scaling activated and you can get PP that will actually count towards your rank. I think Rafis has done the same too. We can see that he actually got another one 18 hours ago. He got a 1049 PP play. And this is even another one on Glory Days 13 days ago that's now worth another 1k. If it's not that way, then something is probably wrong because that just makes sense, right? That's mostly how it works, but of course it's more complicated. Oh boy, graph shows how we are looking at graphs now. PP was calculated before today's update. When C or the amount of circles in the map goes up, the accuracy oh boy. portion of PP goes up. When it reaches around 1600 circles, accuracy PP stops increasing. That's just the limit. Okay, now let's reset. When you increase S, the slider okay, count, okay. nothing happens because slider heads have no accuracy. Nobody cares control. about sliders Except for the PP calculation, that's true. Sliders and laser do affect accuracy, so the formula was adjusted. As of today's update, when the amount of sliders goes up, it acts the same as circles. So what this actually means is on maps with less than about 1600 circles, laser can reward more PP than stable. The deployment process Sliders is buff? similar to what we historically did, which is invest. updating the star rating of all beatmaps while we already turn off PP calculations just so there's no um, values flying around when we're running the calculations. And once we have star ratings updated, we need to recalculate the PP value. Oh, I didn't know about that. To date. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. There is going to be a new star rating too. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. There's a lot of scores and we're probably a slight a change though for this. So we need to make sure that over a it's billion scores fast enough. I, I'm saying that it's going to take a month because the old process took around a month, but we mm, still okay. took shortcuts with the old process. Like we didn't process inactive users. So there's been this ongoing issue where mm. a user will come back from not playing the game for three years and their PP values are like calculated with a really old calculation method. I'm hoping to <laughs> address that and a few I other see. issues. Yeah, this, this PP oh, that's kind of funny. just updating PP. It's also... It's just like the Japanese soldier stuck in the forest who keeps fighting because he doesn't know the war is over. So he's gonna come back to the game and all of a sudden his plays are still 100 PP even though there's been a big update. Updating PP, it's also attempting to resolve some of the ongoing discrepancies in PP values for users and trying hmm. to have a clean slate. All, all scores have correct PP. The PP values match. In this skin laser looks kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. Tools, wherever you want to calculate it. So That's why I haven't hopped on laser yet. Rating. And then from that point, we can start to hopefully. We make gotta figure this out. More rapid changes if we need to. Rapid? Yeah, the PP algorithm Rapid trigger recovered, reference? Plus more for other modes that I'm unqualified to talk about will be fully implemented when Peppy is through with this checklist. 
And if you're desperate to see these PP changes in action, you can set scores in laser, then look at either the PP counter or the result screen. Both are being calculated with the new <sighs> algorithm. Believe it or not, this laser update isn't just PP. There are actual laser 2008 updates. default. Oh, sh all of Bombi's editor improvement saga continues in this update with a completely new grid button on the left side here. Now, keep in mind I'm not a mapper, okay? So I don't really know how different this is, but every time I look at the laser editor, it just looks so much better than the stable one. What else did they do? generates a grid center point on the first click, then adjusts the spacing and rotation on the second click. Oh, whoa, or look at that. Or if you don't like how those turned out, you can reselect grid, then right click to go back to default. And of course, the new center point works with the flip commands and the rotation and scale tools. Like, is that something that you can even do right now? In the normal client? I think you can do these things where you rotate patterns and like change stuff with some plugins, but definitely not within the normal editor. This looks huge. And here are a couple quality of life features. You can drag while holding control to select more objects, and these buttons stay in the same position until you move your mouse. Previously, they would follow objects, so you couldn't just spam the button. Uh, Spaceman set out to do the redesign of the editor setup screen, and oh. his main goals were, because it was just stretched to the screen width, it meant that slider bars could get really long. That was one of his primary concerns, and the other one... That looks better, that looks a lot better. ...into slider bars. In the process, he also implemented one of the designs for all the form controls, which is like buttons, text boxes, slider bars, drop downs, all those things. We'll Honestly, that looks like pretty good, even for mods. People react to the new designs. And if you have sure to speed up maps and etc., if they do, then they it would look pretty cool. The rest of the game. I think. There's been like a lot of feature requests for being able to enter values into settings like the tablet. People want to enter a very specific value and it's hard to drag the mouse to that specific value. And once once we roll this out, that will be possible as one example. Oh, the hotkeys. Can somebody explain to me the whole tablet thing? Because I that's another controversial thing in laser as far as I know, where you have to set the area within laser itself using OTD, but you can't have your custom settings on it. You don't have to? Oh. Well, <laughs> there goes that issue. I don't know. I, I remember a long time ago I tried laser and I couldn't figure this one out, but I guess you can disable it then. All right. Now you can see hotkeys in like all the menus and stuff and just makes the that looks clean. feel a lot more professional. Very nice. Last update added these oh. replay analysis features and it should have been expected that mods would break things. Each of these cases you're seeing have now been fixed so you can finally... You can actually sh... What? Replay analysis within Osu Laser? Nah, man. It's getting too advanced. It's combining every single program. Rewind the laser. Laser is getting too goated now. I'm about to release that guide on how to not make Osu lag. Don't tell me everybody's switching to laser as soon as I drop that video. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Analyze your weirdest plays without issue. And meanwhile, in the skin editor, there's more flexibility with editing player avatars. And this is kind of, of cool. Elements have color customization. So this is a pretty cool one. I think it's only been implemented in a few elements so far, but you can finally change the color of some things in the skin editor. One hope would be to allow this to be applied to basically every insane. element, but it kind of absolutely needs, um, insane textual implementation for the elements to be like, oh, this one has text elements, so we want to have the text color exposed. We have a flow for it now, so that's cool. It's it's very easy to do this stuff. We just need someone to go through and add, add it in place now. Small Ketchup has been spending his time updating Laser. <laughs> Thank you, Small Ketchup. I appreciate it. Outside of Laser. And by that, I mean he noticed how confusing this pop up how was. How to make Laser not make lag? Laser actually be labeled as Laser I can, Windows. I mean, we'll and see. On top of that, he was going to add this little icon to beaten up files. As Honestly, most of my settings, it's very possible that they also apply to Laser. When the guide drops, you guys will know. You will know associated with laser, which ended up causing Flight to redesign the icon entirely. So Ah, yes. Cool. New and icons. One last change. This button now exists. 
you can figure out what it does. You know, I've been trying to get TV <laughs> stuff. That's my main. Ah, uh, yes. But I've also had to um, the copyrighted the way we do Spotify code signing over the last month. What is code signing exactly? Um, they know so people use Windows also Smart for that Windows Defender thing that pops up when you run an app that isn't code signed because we're publishing applications that can potentially destroy people's systems. It's making sure that there's some kind of responsibility layer in there where if a dev does something bad, Microsoft can pull the plug on them and that app will no longer run <laughs> on people's PCs. Yeah, our code signing certificate was expiring. Peppy, why, why do you have a Bitcoin miner in Osu Laser, man? That's f***ed up, They've man. They've actually changed the requirements now and you need to use a hardware key. Like they'll send you out a USB dongle, which you have to use to do the code signing. The now, Osu Go. we can't use that because we're making I builds on GitHub Actions. So I had to completely rewrite the process for both Laser and Stable to use um, Microsoft's new cloud signing thing. Damn, I, I just didn't think this would be such like a complicated task. Yeah, you need you need to contact a company and then verify Caught? your business and give them we caught like him, guys. utility bills to to verify your address and stuff. That that kind of process. Um, but using the Microsoft Cloud signing, I didn't have to submit anything because I guess Microsoft already have enough information about me. <laughs> ah yes, I mean we all know that. We all know that. Peppy's goal to make lasers so good, people we want to swap is coming through. It is coming through. 